Now that our table is ready, it's time to give it a format. You have to make sure that your table is selected. We can access the format options here or here. And we're going to have these options. It says size and rotation, position, and text fitting. We're going to be switching the size. I want my table to be as big as my screen. So I can just click here. So it doesn't matter if it goes out of my screen a little bit, okay? That's fine. I'm going to be switching the position. It's usually on the top left. I'm going to be switching to center. Um, select zeros so it's in the center. Once I'm done, I can close that. Next step is going to be switching colors. I can select the first row. And here's the field color. In here, I can fill my cells. I click there and down here, are the colors that you chose from your team. So I'm going to be choosing this purple. I'm going to be choosing a different font, maybe a different size and white. Okay. The next step that I'm going to be doing is making sure that my text is in between my uh, cells, like somewhere here, not up here as it shows, okay? How do I do it? We are going to be selecting everything, go where it says center, so it's center horizontally. And we have these three new options because we're working with tables. And this means that we're going to be aligning our text vertically. So we want it to be in the middle. And you see, it's already switched. My table is starting to look better, but we still need to adjust our borders. This part here is a border. So we have to select our table or you can just select one of the cells. It's up to you. I'm going to be doing the whole table. And up here, you're going to be able to see the border colors, the border weight and the border dash. So again, I'm going to be switching Let's make them this color. I'm going to be making them bolder. You see the difference. And then I want it to be dots. So my table is starting to look different. Okay. Maybe you don't like it, you can switch it. Okay. The next step that I'm going to be doing is adding a row because I just noticed that we forgot to add a title for my row, uh, for my table. So I'm going to be selecting the first row where it says format, table, and I can insert rows, insert columns, or maybe I added a row or a column that I don't need, I can delete it, okay? So I'm going to be inserting a row above. And you notice here that I have different cells, new cells. But I want one header. I don't want five. So I'm going to be selecting all of them. Again, format, table. And this time, I'm going to be merging cells. What this option does is to create one big cell the size of the table. In there, I'm going to write my title. There we go. I can change the font, change the size, and 
change the color as well if you want. I can switch the field background. So I have a header. You notice that my table is, it doesn't appear to be center anymore. So I can just click on it. And instead of opening the format options, I can just click on arrange where it says center page horizontally and center page vertically. And voila, we got it.